Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to this YouTube video. The Bride of Christ. Who is she? Who wants to be her? But it seems that a lot of people are wanting to be her. Why? I don't know. And I really don't want to even want to find out. <laughs> Who is the Bride of Christ? Is there any... There are many people claiming to be the bride of Christ. I am here to set the record straight. Unless you are the bride of Christ that is written in Revelation 12, you better have a better story than those ones I've seen on YouTube videos. Today, when I heard about Revelation, I was sitting in church when a Baptist preacher was talking about the woman claiming she was Mary the mother of Jesus. It will be many years later and today when the bride of Christ will be mentioned again through all these YouTube videos, some representing themselves as her, some saying other things. I don't even want to go through the list. <laughs> but to be claiming something that you are not for sure known, it's very it's very misleading. And everything that's misle misleading is a lie. So you need to be very careful when you're describing something that you are not. Okay, let us examine the scriptures. What I really want to do is examine the scriptures. I want us to go sentence by sentence and line by line. And if you are the bride of Christ, ask yourself this. When and what? made you a believer in this. When you read the first sentence, a great sign appeared in heaven. If you had read Matthew 24, 30, which says, and then at least the signs of the Son of Man is coming will appear in the heavens. And there will be a deep mourning among the people of the earth. And they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds well, on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay. Just like Revelation 12, a sign, the same sign that God had, had done for Jesus, same sign that God had given this woman. There were signs, the sun and the moon. Am I correct? Let's go ahead and read Isaiah 61 through 4. I actually want to just read Isaiah 61. A rise shine, for the light has the light is come, and the glory of the Lord hath, is risen upon thee. Revelation 21, 23 says, and the city had no need of the sun. Okay, this Revelation 21, 23, it is, think about it. When I read it, I want you all to read it too. I want you to look, and I want you to open your book and read it. Because this basically... Could open your eyes. It could you could realize why the city had no need of the of the sun. We all humans, we need light. But in the scriptures, it says that we like the darkness. We don't like the light. We don't like the light. And when you think about that, I said when it says that Jesus said, I am the light, a lot of people didn't. <laughs> this is where they were blinded. <laughs> well, the light is a light. <laughs> the light is on. I see the light. <laughs> the light shines on you. It it opens up what you couldn't see. So you need the light shining in order to, to see what's inside that human being, right? But that's how, that's what they're trying to describe. Where Jesus says, I am the light. That what? That what? In darkness, it, it the light always scattered the darkness, doesn't it? Doesn't it, it overtakes the darkness? Ah, oh, Lord. Here we go again, Lord. <laughs> okay. Without light, you cannot find your way out. In order to be in the princes of the Lord, you have to be in the light. Remember, everybody said, well, you know, it's true. He's He comes in the cloud, people. He's not rolling around in the winds. He's in the clouds. Well, he does come in the winter, though, I'll tell you. But, um, but his presence, the holy God, comes 
in the cloud. Cloud by day, cloud by night. Remember, do you remember the story with Moses? <laughs> cloud by day and light by night. <laughs> but oh, here we go again. Light by night. So the light shines when there's darkness. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Give me that. <laughs> Brought it to my attention. <laughs> but anyway, my purpose is to clean up this mess. You know, you are not the bride of Christ. You have nothing you have said has proven an inch of a connection with God. Anybody could have good feelings. I have good feelings. I have feelings. Oh, I'm going to go home. I have feelings. I'm going to do this. I, feel, I have all the feelings I want. But the feeling for God is totally different. You know, this is something you can't just receive on your own. Good feelings are your feelings. Anybody can have feelings. A lot of people take medicine because they have feelings, to, you know, to to do whatever they need because they have some personal issues or personal things wrong with them. I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But I'm I'm here to tell you to stop. Stop claiming something you are not. And, and as for the brighter Christ, we're going to get into this information. Why? Why she is the brighter Christ and why God selected her. You just can't wake up and say, oh, <laughs> I'm the brighter Christ. And then Come on YouTube and present something totally different. The brighter Christ has a story. A good story. A story that will probably make y'all like, oh my God. Remember the Songs 91 when COVID started and everybody would start reading it about under his shadow and being under his wings, the feathers and whatever. I haven't actually be honest with you, tell you the truth. I heard about 